It is 7.15 a.m. and this is the earliest I have been up in weeks. Supposedly we are getting an 8 a.m. drop, so I am here, first here, only person here, feeling like a loser right now, but Select and Prism should both be hitting my Walmart finally, so these prices are crazy. It's probably worth it for me to get three select blasters for $60 instead of $450 so I'll wake my my up at crack of dawn after going to bed at 3 a.m. to uh, save $390 sure why not so I am taking a quick detour out to Target which is about a half hour away we saw the vendor show up some of my buddies showed up some of the local regulars showed up and we saw the vendor show up at around 8 o'clock in the morning and she said, you fellas might be waiting a long time because I have other projects I have to take care of. So decided I'm um, taking a little detour. I think the other guys are probably just gonna wait around, but that's never really been my game. So get out here on the road. Uh, first time really leaving my city in almost a few weeks because of the back injury. So first time I'm out driving, so I'm just gonna enjoy a morning drive. I'm not a morning person. Just gonna enjoy a morning drive and try and score over at Target. Uh, their policy is, should now be one item per person. Um, so maybe I can grab a Select Blaster or a Prism Cello, we'll see. All right, so here's the line for Target. You guys ready to see this? This is what I'm not waiting in. This is crazy, this is absolute madness. This is waiting for trading cards like, in the cold, it's cold this morning. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Got him. So as expected, as soon as the stalkers were finished, Mad Dash, I was able to get my three Prism Cellos. So first time going out card hunting in, I don't know, almost a month, three weeks, over three weeks. Uh, and it was actually paid off three Prism Cellos. So let's get it. And here we are back at Casa de Run Good, getting ready to rip some 2020 2021 Prism Cello packs. I was able to pick these up at retail cost just like the first time I found hangers. Uh, this is the only retail I have actually found since then. I did deal with the back injury, which prevented me from going out and looking for cards for about three weeks. Well, what's wrong with him? I'm afraid that your son is incredibly stupid. Uh, now you guys saw my little story. I went to the Walmart early. Nobody was there. Uh, we saw the vendor come into the store at around 8 a.m. in the morning. She said it might be a while. I took a little road trip. I went to the Target. There was that huge line outside. It was cold. I'm not going to wait in a line like that for maybe at that point with like 20, 30 people in line. I wouldn't have gotten Select or Prism. So I circled back around. My dude said, hey, she's actually restocking. They had been waiting went in we all got our three cellos everybody's happy we were really hoping for select unfortunately select did not drop at our walmart thanks captain obvious obviously by the title i said you know how i find trading cards uh it's kind of a clickbait title the reason why it's a clickbait title is because i see a lot of these on youtube and there's no definitive way so my advice for you if you are looking for retail sports cards in the stores uh, because online they just get botted and bought up by people with bots. If you're looking for them in stores, everybody now knows that Target is distributing sports cards every Friday morning starting at 8 a.m. First come, first serve. They are implementing new policies where you cannot camp out overnight and it's only one per person. We do not know if that's going to roll out nationwide, but that is uh, the rumor. Uh, that's what we're seeing on Twitter. Um, but in terms of finding stuff at Walmarts and finding stuff at Fred Meyers and Myers and Walgreens and... CVS's and Rite Aid's, it all varies by state and by location. There is not one definitive uh, way to score sports cards. And I just want to tell you guys that because I see a lot of creators right now taking the easy route, uh, their thumbnail, just a big, you know, either the vendor stocking or a big display of cards on the shelf uh, with how I scored cards or how to score sports cards. It all varies by state, guys. Uh, there is no definitive way. You know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. So, I mean, if you want to support those creator creators and cl keep clicking those videos, be sure to do that. Um, but 
for me, I think there's a lot of, there's too much clickbait in the YouTube trading card world right now. All right, and, and I say that with a clickbait title, of course. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video. Uh, we do have three Prism Cello packs. We've done hangers. Our first were good. Our seconds were not so good. We've done blasters. They've all sucked. I did the hobby box. It sucked. Feel stupid yet? Not yet. And uh, now we have the cello pack. So I've watched a bunch of openings of these. And from what I've seen, every cello pack is going to include uh, one silver and one green. And then you get the red, white, and blue packs as well. I don't like the new configuration of cello packs at all. Um, not a fan of this 12 card pack to go along with a three card pack. I like the two six card packs. It just seems more fun. Um, so I picked these up $11.98 each at my local Walmart. They are reselling on the secondary market between $40 and $60. Price is just way crazy out there. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead. Can we see one LaMelo? Can we see one LeBron? I do not yet have the LeBron Kobe tribute dunk. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can find. Kicking things off with Devontae Graham. Tim Duncan, the big fundamental, Clay Thompson, Sadoransky, Pat Beverly, Terrence Davis. We do have a silver. Silver is going to be SGA. Look at the, oh my God, come on, Panini. Look at the centering on that silver. You know, I should be mad, but I'm just sort of sad. sad. Look at the centering on that silver. Come on, Panini. This is your premier product, Panini. This is your baby. This is your top flagship product. You're going to give me a silver like that? What if that was LaMelo? Are you serious? Let's see the green. Rookie. Cassius Stanley is going to be our rookie. Okay. So Stanley going to be our rookie for the Indiana Pacers. We'll take that. It is good to hit a rookie, but that is one of the lower tier rookies. I know there'll be some Stanley fans in the comment section, but we have Stanley. We have Cole Anthony, Bobby Portis Jr., or just Bobby Portis, rather. Hey! You are a dog! There we go. How about a LaMelo to kick things off? Ricky Rubio behind it. A LaMelo, and look at that centering. Love it. Love it, Panini. You know what's funny about the centering on this one? It's the reverse of the shy. It's like the the centering on top is super duper thick. But hey, that is my first Lamello from Prism. And it's always good to hit a Lamello, especially when you find the product at retail cost. So let's freaking go. All right. One, one hit down. It's already been a success. You know, I did pay $36 for these three cello packs. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the red, white, and blues, shall we? Bug Donovic. Penny Hardaway. Show us that rookie logo. Not a rookie, but going to be a second-year Kendrick Nunn. Okay. All righty. Uh, cello number two. I don't think it can get any better than that. I'm pretty sure... I'm looking at the back right now. Pretty sure there are no numbered cards from cello pack. Same as last year. Pretty sure you cannot hit any numbered cards. I don't know if you can hit autos or not. I probably should have looked at one of the backs of the cellos, but... All right, we've got Derek Jones Jr., De'Aaron Fox. I think we have a card stuck to the De'Aaron Fox. It feels thick. We have a Dylan Brooks stuck to it. Joker. Mo Bamba. Show us that rookie logo on the silver. Not a rookie. Going to be Tory Craig. Uh, at least the centering is better on that one. Our green. Also not a rookie. Going to be Lori. How about a sophomore star's silver? That's going to be Mr. Tyler Hero. With a fresh fade and a Star Wars-esque design. I will take that. Our rookies. Tyrell Terry. And Josh Green. couple of Dallas Mavericks right there. You'd be stoked to see a couple Dallas Mavericks in prison from a couple of years ago. But Josh Green and Tyrell Terry, who really knows what their future will be? Christian Wood as well. So not bad right there. Obviously, the first cello pack much better, but 
I like the design on that. Very clean design on a insert. Typically the inserts from Retail Prism are nothing to write home about, but this year I think they're a little bit better. All right, we have Brooke Lopez. Shebez Napier. Show us one rookie. Come on, one rookie. That might be the worst cello pack of all time. I don't need that garbage. Three vets and only two Mavs rookies, so that was unfortunate. The I guess, I guess the Tyler Hero. Sorry, sorry, Tyler. All right, our final cello of the video. See if we can find something to add to our LaMelo ball, but no matter what, this has been a huge success. Not just find in retail at MSRP, which is great, but also then coming through and hitting the LaMelo. We have Mr. Kobe White, Gallinari, Josh Akogi. How cool would it be to see a LeBron in here? Frank Nittolkina, Mitchell Robinson, our silver, not a rookie, going to be Victor Oladipo. Our silvers were tough. Green rookie, also not a rookie. Cam Reddish, second year green. We have a dominant silver Giannis. Tyrell Terry, which means Josh Green. It's funny, we hit that same run. It's funny, you get three cello packs and you manage to pull two of the exact same rookie, which is pretty hard to do. I'm trying to do the math in my head and I don't even know. All right, red, white, and blue pack come through for us. Let's get one red, white, and blue rookie, please. The red, white, and blue design, I don't think typically looks good most years. I really like last year how it faded into, the colors all faded into one another. This year they're more... Just solid colors. We have Malik Monk, Wrong Hornet. Karis Levert. Show us one rookie. Can we get one rookie? Okay, we can get one rookie. Can you, Martin Jr.? Skylar Mays for the Hawks. Saw the red, and I just took a, took a stab. But overall, three cello packs and a couple rookie color. Skylar Mays and Cassius Stanley, the Tyler Hero sophomore stars, but... The best card in the cello is going to be the LaMelo Ball. Even though it's off-center, I will just take that. Not every card needs to be graded, and I will say that again. Not every card needs to be graded. And this one, definitely not a grading candidate. But hey, LaMelo Ball, very exciting player. My favorite rookie in the set, other than Alexei Pokashevsky. Um, so who knows? Who knows what this card will be worth several years from now, 20 years from now, but... This one's for the PC, of course, for the PC. Shout out my dude, Shy City Pools. Always stealing your gimmick, my dude. That is going to do it for me today. If you're new here, go ahead. I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. Doing content every Monday through Friday. You can also hop into a group break over on Run Good Life, where I post the group breaks on Tuesday and Friday for our Wednesday and Saturday group breaks. That's going to do it for me today. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, take care, and we'll catch you next time on down the road.